see, it's Sharon, one of the two runaway old folks. The other one's over there sitting in the chair. See his head? Yeah, that's where he is. And we just got back from doing our holiday feast shopping. Now, ordinarily, if we were in Maryland at home preparing for all the people who normally come by our house, all 70 to 75 of them, uh, we would have a lot more than this. But we decided we were not going to give up on feasting. So we decided, forget the diet, we're going to feast for Christmas. So this is what we're feasting on. First, uh, I got this Bisquick here because I'm going to make uh, some peach cobbler. that I And I'm using the peaches that the Lomax family uh, gave us a, a quart. No, it was more than a quart. It was a big thing of uh, peaches that they canned. And so I'm going to, we've been holding on to it and holding on to it. So we're going to go ahead and make some peach cobbler. Uh, got my virgin olive oil for my uh, to fry up um, some other stuff that we got and uh, to make the oil for that. Then I got some uh, Bruce's yams. You see that Bruce's sweet potatoes, sweetened with Splenda, so my baby can have all the sweet potatoes he wants. And I also bought some marshmallows. There, let me see. Let me see on the other side. Here you go marshmallows can you see that low oh lord it's just it's just so much stuff on here hold on there we go low calories no added sugar marshmallows so we're going to see how those turn out yeah next uh i got some hot chocolate because who can do santa claus waiting without hot chocolate hot chocolate and then i got some marshmallows to go with them no sugar added. That's what I'm talking about. I can have all I want. There you go. Um, and then I got some. I love, love, love. Uh, and Hamp loves it too. The uh, ruby red uh, grapefruit. So I got a container of that. Um, four um, tomatoes. So I'll use these to make salad. We'll probably have salad today. Um, I got. I wanted to get some chicken gravy. But chicken gravy is $6 for for about a, a eight ounce jar of gravy. I said I know how to make gravy. Forget this. So I just bought this uh, some chicken gravy package from McCormick. Got a package of celery hearts that I'm going to use for my stuffing uh, for our Cornish hens and to make our seafood chowder. Ooh, that's going to be so good. Then I uh, got some coffee mate for Hampton. Uh, zero sugar. Hello. He loves his coffee, and we got that. So then I got some potatoes here. These little potatoes. Hemp likes these little potatoes. I like them too. Um, to cut up, cut them in half, and just put them right into the our chowder, and also in our green beans. And I got some green beans for that too. Um, this is one of Hemp's uh, little snack things: dried cranberries. I like them in my in my oatmeal. He likes to eat them out the bag. Um, real wood smoked. Hickory thick cut bacon, and I got that because I'm gonna need some bacon to fry up for um, to get some bacon grease. And I use my bacon grease, I don't fry up enough stuff here to have enough bacon grease in, in my stash. But we'll use the bacon and we'll use the bacon grease to season up our um, veggies. Um, by mistake, I ordered I don't, I don't remember ordering cut up sliced um, portobello mushrooms, but I guess I did. But I got to use those anyway. I got two things. Of a port, a baby bella on uh, mushrooms, two pounds of these, and this is equal to one pound. So I got three pounds of mushrooms. I'm gonna need them for the dressing. I'm gonna need them for um, for a whole bunch of stuff. My chowder, and so I, three pounds will probably go fast. Then I got some fresh uh, green beans. I was gonna get canned green beans, but you know what? This is Christmas. We got to have some good old uh, pot of green beans. So I got green beans. I got some, I uh, had to get some, some more uh, jasmine rice. I was all out of it, but they want to, I, I normally buy like 15 pounds of it or 25 pounds if I'm home, but you know, it's just the two of us and this right here probably lasts us the rest of the, uh, of, of the season until next Christmas. I got some mild cheddar cheese. Oh, I meant to get sliced. Um, the the um, sharp cheddar cheese. Oh, well, it make a nice um, salad and he puts it on his, his, his half smoke. So I got that. I got some uh, oysters. Now, I have never been someplace where the land touches the ocean. And I could not find no oysters. Sam's Club down here does not even sell oysters. 
So, uh, but I did find them at Publix today. So I, I went in and got um, uh, two, um, you see, eight, four, and four, this is eight, 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 two pints, two pints of oysters from Publix. I got that. Um, then I bought, also I bought um, some green onions that we're going to need for our chowder and our salads and stuff like that. I got, so we're supposed to have seafood as part of our feast. And so I got some snow crabs. We were going to get king crabs. Let me tell you something. They wanted $45 a pound. And for one package of the, uh, the, the crab that was two legs in there. Two king crab legs, and it was going to be ninety dollars. So you know, I said, you know what, Lord, I don't think you want me to do that. So we got one of these, which is thirty-four dollars at Sam's Club. So that's gonna be fine. And um, then um, we got some rice cauliflower. And I have another one in the freezer. We're gonna use that for a stuffing. I'll show you how to make a rice cauliflower stuffing for our Cornish hens. And we bought all these by mistake. Hello. Um, we got two teeny weeny ones at, um, at Walmart. And then we got these great big fat ones. Look more like laying hens at, uh, Sam's Club. So we have six Cornish hens. We have Cornish hens everywhere. Uh, then I got some colossal raw, easy peel shrimp. They, um, they're already, they're, they're, the shell is on, but they already been deveined and the tail is on. So that will be part of Hamp's. Uh, seafood chow. I'm making seafood chow. I'm going to have crab in it, oysters, shrimp, and fish. I got some fish in there. Fish fillet I'm going to put in there too. This going to be a really nice seafood chowder. Then some of the um, seasoning meat I got. I got salt pork that I got for the green beans. I'm going to uh, use uh, some of that for the green beans. And I got um, some lamb. I got lamb um, chops. These are lamb shoulder blade top chops. They're bigger than the regular lamb chops, but they look so nice, so I just went ahead and got that. I got some uh, pork belly, fresh um, sliced pork belly. This has the skin on. I like this because I can use it um, in some of my um, Asian meals. Hamp is not a fan of it, but you know what? He eats, he'll eats. he eat this because it's got a lot of lean in it, but the regular pig feet, he don't want him to do with that. Then I got uh, for Christmas Day, I've got some French lamb. French lamb. Uh, New Zealand lamb racks. I got two of these. These were on sale today for ten dollars off. Whatever the price was on the package, it was ten dollars off of that price. I just realized something. I should have gotten smaller ones. Oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it anyway. I got this for eighteen dollars. It was supposed to be um twenty nine ninety four, and I got it for eighteen because it was ten dollars off of any uh, package. Yeah. And so, and we, and really I got these because they, um, they were bigger. These were fatter. Some of them were, were, you know, a third of this size. And so we wanted nice big ones. So I will cook these. Um, I'll cook one and freeze the other one. And let me see what else did I get? Oh, we got some, some, gotta have fruit. So Hamp bought some, um, some, what is these? Halo. Some halo. Are these halos? Sweet, juicy, seedless peel mandarin oranges these are mandarin oranges and these are um california seedless um what is this called the other kind of oranges navel oranges thank you honey all right so i think that was it that's all i bought i didn't buy anything else the only thing that i might i should have bought maybe kind of was some milk but i have a carton that's unopened so we're fine for milk for now and uh that's it but this, so this is our, for our Christmas feast and oh and the Truvia that I can use I use that for uh, to sweeten our drinks we don't have a, a speck of sugar on board I don't even think so if something calls for sugar we don't even have that we have some honey but we don't have any sugar okay so this is all the stuff we got and now we've got to find room in the closet I mean mm. <laughs> how about the refrigerator room in the refrigerator oh I got this I got this by mistake but I always buy these to put in my oatmeal and in my um my cereal so that's fine yeah yep so we got we're good all right I'm not even gonna um oh I, did I get the potatoes I already, I already talked about the potatoes talked about everything yes yeah yeah okay so that's it so I wish you all could come to our Christmas feast no don't <laughs>